$30 for the swatch left. I'm feeling so pretty today. Oh, I think like the shorter bangs in the front. It looks weird, but it works. Welcome to my channel or if you're not new here welcome back to my channel today i have a couple of exciting things planned we are going to be glowing up this summer because your girl is looking quite rough so i definitely am in need of one i have a couple of appointments that i've scheduled i have a facial a lash lift and a haircut the reason why i've scheduled all of these things is because i'm back home in taiwan so things are just like way cheaper compared to the u.s up first we have our facial scheduled it is in 30 minutes so i have to quickly get ready and then we're gonna leave i hope you guys enjoy this episode of me glowing up and I'm crossing my fingers that the results are as good as I want them to be. So let's just get started. We're officially on the way. It is so rainy out here in Taipei right now because there's been a typhoon that's been happening for like the last couple of days. However, today is the first day that actually the typhoon is good enough where people are working. That is why I immediately scheduled my facial. But anyways, I wanted to show you guys like the before close-up of my skin. Here's what my skin looks like. I have a lot of acne scarring and it's kind of red. This side's better than this side actually. But as you can see, I definitely have like a lot of hyper pigmentation here. Usually right after my facial my skin doesn't look the best but long term it definitely looks a lot better so we'll see how this one goes. But in about a week or so, everything basically heals and it looks a lot better. So we just gotta be patient. I'm on the way to go get my lash lift. This is probably the most exciting part of the glow up because I feel like lashes just make a huge difference on your face. And my natural lashes basically go straight down so they're not even visible. Like, where even are they? And I'm super excited because I'm only paying $30 for this lash lift. Usually in the States, it costs like around $90 to $100 to get one. But here it is so affordable. And also the one in the States didn't even include a tint but this one does so I'm super excited to see the results guys how good did my eyelashes turn out I am so obsessed with them they turned out so much better than the one I got in LA and I only spent a third of the price that is a big win for me if you couldn't tell by my sweatiness and panic mode. I initially booked so that my appointments between my lash appointment and my hair appointment had an hour in between for me to eat lunch. However, my lash appointment ran late so I literally have like 30 minutes to do everything. So that is why I'm rushing around and let's hope I actually make my hair appointment on time because I got to go right now. Me, my hairdresser Annie. She's been cutting my mom's hair for the past 20, I would say like 25, 26 years, which is kind of insane. Talk about a hairdresser of loyalty. And she's been cutting my hair ever since I was a literal baby. So every time I come back to Taiwan, of course, I always have to come back to her for her to cut my hair because I don't really trust anyone else because I've never really had anyone else cut my hair. But we're almost done with my haircut, so I'm really looking forward to the big reveal. As you guys can see, I cut kind of like quarter bangs-ish. It's looking really cute so far, so look forward to the reveal. all done. 
done. It looks so cute. I really like, like the shorter bangs in the front. Annie loves kind of like Japanese hairstyles. So she kind of curled my hair and then put it half up, half down. And I do look very like Japanese cutesy girl, which is like not my usual aesthetic, but I still think it's really cute. That was the last step for the glow up. So I'm going to wait a couple of days before my facial kind of like sits in and my face becomes a little bit better. And also obviously do my makeup and hair the way that I usually like. And then I'll show you guys the final results. It has been about a week since I got my facial and this is what my skin's looking like. I feel like overall, I definitely see a little bit of a reduction of like redness and pigmentation, which is exactly what I wanted. Obviously there isn't gonna be like a huge drastic change, but as long as there's baby steps, I am satisfied. And now that my skin has kind of settled down and it looks a lot better, let's start the glow up process. I have my hair styler tool right here and I'm just gonna style my hair the way I usually do, except I'm gonna change it up a little bit when it comes to the bangs because they need to be styled a little bit differently. Also, if you guys couldn't tell already, I'm not very good at styling my hair. I don't actually really know what I'm doing, but I kind of just wing it every time and hope it turns out good. done and it is styled the way that I usually like. It is still quite curly as you can see but it kind of like drops throughout the day. That's why I like when it starts out super curly. I really like the shorter bangs that I have because I've never actually had these little side bangs this short before but I told her to go shorter than usual and I really like it. But this is my new haircut reveal. Cute? Please say yes. It is time for my favorite part of the makeover, makeup. I have my entire makeup bag here and I'm just gonna be doing it the way that I usually do because if it's not broke, why fix it? You guys, doing my makeup is literally like one of my favorite parts of my day because it just makes me feel really confident. I don't know, I genuinely find it super relaxing and just fun. Some people see it as a chore, but I love doing it. So I guess this is almost like a little a mini makeup tutorial for you guys. I do want to give a special shout out to these bronzing drops. I've been using them lately and I love the glowy effect. Oh, why is it not coming out? Hello? This is a brand new bottle, so I don't know why it's acting like that. Some people don't really like the bronzy, like glowy makeup look, but I personally love it. Some people think it looks really oily. I don't know about you, but I low-key like looking oily. <laughs> base looks like with just my cream products. I am not close to being done yet. I'm like halfway done. I like to set all of my cream products with another powder product because it just lasts so much longer on my face and I feel like it looks kind of more airbrushed if that makes sense. And as you can tell, I like a lot of bronzer. <laughs> me for doing this but i like putting like a card below my eyelashes and then using that to brush my lashes out so i don't get too much mascara on my face it looks weird but it works can't forget the final last step setting spray This is my makeup all done. I feel like the other lighting honestly did not do me justice. It looked kind of weird, but in natural lighting, it looks a lot better. Now we're gonna move on to putting on a cute outfit because how am I supposed to finish this glow up if I don't have on something cute? This is the outfit I wanna wear. I think I'm gonna wear this like little cute lace crop top and these denim shorts. Plus we need to find some jewelry because without jewelry, the outfit is not complete. This is the jewelry I decided to throw on. Just wanted to show you guys really quickly. Now it is time for what everyone's been waiting 
waiting for the final reveal. Just wanted to show you guys again my hair and makeup. I'm feeling so pretty today. And of course, the cute outfit I have on. I love getting all dressed up, doing my hair, my makeup. It makes me feel so good about myself. Honestly, compared to what I look like before and now what I look like after, I have to say I think I did a pretty good job. So that is it for this glow up video. I hope you guys liked watching it and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!